Trash to treasure, trash to treasure, trash to treasure. Here we all cash me. I got gold nuggets, I got small dimes, I got me some quarters, and I'm gonna, gonna cash in. Here we all cash me. Welcome to Trash to Treasures, where someone else is trash. It's someone else. Hey, what's going on guys? Chris from Trash Treasure here. Real quick announcement. This is actually a re-upload. There's a long story behind why I'm going to be re-uploading about 18 episodes from seasons 2 and seasons 3. We're currently filming season 4, but again, this is a re-upload, so enjoy the episode and have a good time. Happy hunting. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 8. Oicho, the Oito. Yeah, this episode is going to be just intense guys last one was really really good as well but this one kind of we're gonna start out with some big objects and unfortunately I don't need any of these big objects but see for yourself very modern very chic but uh, you know what's better than that though I'll be honest with you is what's gonna be coming out of this beautiful beautiful shirt you see the shirt right here long sleeve got the little collar on there Guess what that is, guys? That's Hugo Boss. That's a little peep for uh, coming up. That's a little sneak peek for coming up here in a later episode. Might be included in this one. Don't know quite yet how the editing is going to go. But I found this Hugo Boss shirt right here. Fits me to the T. Very, very nice fit. Anyway, sit back, relax, guys. Grab, go down to the convenience store. Go grab yourself a McDonald's um, soft serve ice cream cone or maybe a cherry smoothie. Uh, icy, a cherry icy. Come on back to the show, hit the play button, and just sit back and get that brain rush, that brain freeze for all these good finds. Not from that icy, from these good finds. All right, here we go, guys. Look at this thing right here. A little modern, little black leather. Definitely, definitely modern. Kind of that LA chic, maybe Hollywood Hills. Got some top glass here. Look at this. Nice little outdoor, little. Little put some plants on it. Look at coffee table, matching coffee table. You gotta be kidding me. I got a whole living room set up right here, guys. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alrighty guys, so you guys saw some nice little uh furniture there. We had a nice little like kind of a little patio type of a thin black one that was kind of tall, the one in the middle. I was actually gonna grab that, but it didn't have a glass top on it, so I was like, well, then you gotta go out and buy the glass top, and I was like, you know what, I could hang some plants from it. But anyway, I just left it behind. But the silver one with the three tray thing, that's kind of like a coffee table. And the glass was on top of that modern looking black chair that you saw. Anyway, I left it all behind. Don't have the room for it. Don't have the truck for it. But um, those, uh, those products are pretty nice, actually. Um, but I was able to find... Uh, I'm on a DVD kick right now. So I'm saving up my uh, DVD collection. The ones I don't want to keep, I'm going to go down to the... Uh, uh, a store that buys DVDs and uh, hopefully make a few bucks on uh, the DVDs. But I was able to find, uh, we have first off the Motorcycle Diaries here. That was pretty cool. That's in the case. And then we have, let me just double check so I can tell you that it's in the case because I haven't looked at that one. But that is in the case also. And that is Cell Jennifer Lopez. That's kind of actually a little scary one, um, but was able to pick that up. I don't know if I've ever watched that, tell you the truth, because it was a little bit scary. Um, but um, overall, pretty good, you know, not uh, not too bad. A couple of little scores for the evening. But uh, I'm on my way to the post office. I'm going to go hit two more after the post office. So hopefully I'll be able to holler at you guys and tell you I found an Apple iPad or a MacBook. Eh, probably not going to happen, but it'd be cool if it did. All right, guys, stay tuned. Okay, okay, wow. Look at this thing right here. This thing is sick. Wow, Airstrike. It has... Jaws teeth, training wheels, man. Look at that thing. If I was a kid, I would love this. You gotta be kidding me about this one, guys. Look at this thing. Brand new Serta box spring in the wrapper. Look at this thing, guys. It's in the wrapper, just chilling here. I mean, who does this kind of thing? I gotta call Mr. Sleep and let him know. Mr. Sleep, I need to wake up. Well, we're on a bed kick right now, guys. Look at this. We got mattresses, pillow top right here. We're looking at uh, kind of some scuffs on it, but um, look at this one over here to the left. We got a uh, little cover sheet on it. Um, this one looks okay. A couple scuffs, you know, but hey, you know. Hey, guys. I got a little story for you here while I'm driving to my next complex. Um, now, this was the first time this has ever happened to me. Um, 
and I know it's not a scam by, you know, um, you know, the person that bought it off me off eBay, but in this episode or last episode, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit it in, but you guys saw the older, like from like 80, I believe like 84, 87, the Macintosh, uh, with the printer, sold it on eBay, shipped it. And next thing you know, I get this little letter in the mail and, uh, it was from the post office and they sent me back the top of my box. Now I put it in a box. I sealed it up tightly. Like I always do no issues with wrapping. You know, it was really a legit box. Everything was good. Well, guess what happens? They sent me just the top portion of the box back. So like a little thin piece of cardboard, they cut it perfectly out and they said, we found this box with no contents inside of it. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, come on. It had fragile, it had um, parcel post because I shipped it partial post. The shipping alone was $35 um, to ship it. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So here's the situation. They sent me some forms. They're like, here's the deal. You know, fill this out, send it to uh, Georgia. We're gonna look for it. If we can't find it, we'll reimburse you your shipping fee. So I'm at least gonna get $35 back. But unfortunately, I did not insure it for the other amount. So not 100% sure, but I believe I am gonna be out some Gennaro. So guys, moral of the story is, if you ship it on eBay, protect yourself, guys because there's a lot of hooligans out there. I personally, uh, I don't wanna accuse, but I think it was an inside job at the post office. I think someone probably went through an x-ray scanner. They probably would thought it was worth a lot more money, you know, vintage Apple. They probably thought it was like big time money, so they snagged it. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of, you know? So who knows, it might turn up, who knows, but I'll let you guys know. So that's the story on my way to the next complex. Stay tuned for Happy Finds. Look at this, guys. Look at this bedding right here. I just come across this just chilling right here. It's in the plastic, you know, brand new package thing I'm above over here. Look at that pattern. That pattern is pretty chic, you know. Euro shams, Euro shams. Look, at we got on top of a chair, 10-piece bedding set. Come on now. Well, guys, so far we're just on this furniture kick right now. Check this out. Little outdoor little um, patio table here. Sitting on some chairs, uh, it's kind of dark here, but look at this little entertainment thing. My bobber here with some nice glass on top. We'll probably snag this and probably give it away to some people that need it. Alrighty guys, some pretty cool little uh, patio furniture there. Um, and then kind of like a little eh, shoe rack type of a little stand thing with the glass. It's actually really nice. I'll try to get some more footage of that um, when I clean off that glass, the top. That was in great condition. And that little uh, little patio type of um, little table with some wood slats on the very uh, uh, little area there. That was uh, that was real nice. So I'm uh, I'm definitely digging that. I think the missus is gonna like that. Maybe switch out our tables. What's cool about finding stuff, if um, you need it, you just swap if it's better. You know, people throw away nicer stuff than you actually do have. So what you do is you're like, hey, I'm gonna swap it out with one I have on my patio. And then the one I have on my patio currently, I'm either gonna give to someone or I'm gonna place it next to the can and let someone else come around and go like, oh, hey, that's nice, let me swap it with mine. It's all about giving and taking, baby. Giving and taking, baby. Pay it forward, you know what I'm saying? So, the only thing I wouldn't pay it forward, to be honest with you, I'm talking MacBook Air, baby. MacBook Air, what is that? What is that? False alarm, false alarm, false alarm. <laughs> I got a little over the top, over the top excited right there, guys. All right, stay tuned. Actually, guys, it wasn't a false alarm. Check this out. I had to put it in the back because um, those uh, patio chairs uh, or the patio table was a little thing in the way. But cool little uh, little suede seat uh, stool here, guys. That's really cool. That's going to go really cool in my uh, my garage shop. And the height is perfect, so I'm going to be able to um, put that right up to my uh, workbench in my uh, workshop, which is actually my garage, just kind of a fancy name. But uh, I'll be able to uh, sit there and uh, work on some projects, tinker with some computers I found. And again, beautiful height. I, I, 
I checked it out at first. I actually drove away and then I'm like, ha, huh, I could use that for my shop. So then I drove back around, parked the car, got out and did it. You know what I'm saying? You just can't second guess. If you have the room, snag it, figure it out later. And if you don't need it, then you place it back by your own dumpster or out for someone else, guys. It's really kind of a nitty, um, uh, you know, to kind of like, you know, process it. You know, sometimes you just got to bam, do it. Just get, you know, get it, get it done and think about it later on. You know what I'm saying? Um, like my wife always says. Hold on one second. Sorry guys, false alarm. That was really a false alarm. Uh, sometimes these uh, cans, you look down the line and some of these complexes don't have lights. So you can't see, you can't like, you gotta like squint, you gotta go like this, you gotta go, what's going on over there, you know? And uh, so I gotta squint, I gotta actually block some of the um, parking lights uh, with my hand so I can kind of like zoom in there a little bit, you know, try to figure out what the synopsis is, if there's action buried below. I did that the other week, came across that uh, uh, one of the boxes of DVDs. Uh, you remember that probably, I think that's going to be in this episode. So, all right guys, a few more cans. Hopefully I'll have a um, really good find to uh, let you know about. All right guys, check this out. Cool little um, billabong uh, bag here, little women's satchel bag. Pretty cool. Got a couple front pockets on there, and um, has the uh, the purple on the inside there. I zipped it up. A couple little pockets, so kind of a cool little um, cool little bag there for the uh, for the ladies. So I'll go ahead and give that one away, and uh, you know, not all bad. Kind of cute. All right, guys. Um, I'm pretty excited right now. Um, I hit a couple complexes. Nothing major, major, but uh, my second complex for the evening. I actually just came across a really cool three-stand uh, ninja sword holder. Um, and the reason why I'm excited about it is because um, when my brother was in Japan for the Air Force, um, he picked me up kind of a shorter, shorter ninja sword and then like an actual legitimate like samurai long ninja sword. And I've always just laid them across the top of my bookshelf and I never went out and invested in an actual good Ninja Sword holder. Well, lo and behold, I found one tonight. It's a three Ninja Sword holder. I only have two. So maybe that means I'm going to get another one. But I'll show that to you guys in a little bit. Black with some uh, cool like Japanese writing on it. So anyway, that's going to look really nice in my room. Put my Ninja Swords. And hey, that's a great find. So uh, let me show that to you uh, when I am done for the evening. I'll show that to you. It's in my trunk right now. All right, here we go, guys. For those kids out there, check out this stroller right here. We got it on dubs. I got a couple Coke stains on here, but hey, that's what it's all about sometimes, guys. Look at that free carriage thing for those little kids. I think you put little kids in it. Guys, look at this. This is just outrageous right here. We got two mattresses. Look at these things. Sertas. Look at look at this box spring. Look at these things, guys. This the, These things are absolutely stunning beautiful I'm gonna call mr. sleep right now and he's gonna want these bad all right guys this is the uh, ninja sword holder this thing's pretty cool right so there's one slot for a ninja sword two slots and three slots here so that's gonna go real nice in the uh, in the room there and uh, looks uh, you know just gotta dust it off just a little bit but um, overall that's a cool little stand there. All right, let's put that out of the way. And we found a box of like office products. And uh, so there's a nice little stapler there uh, for the desk. Um, and then these were pretty cool. These were like leather casings with um, really nice pins with refills. So I'm not sure if these are like, you know, old school legitimate pins or if they're just for show. Let's go ahead and take a look here. But um, these are kind of cool. Check out a little screw off top. Oh my gosh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's totally the old school. Oh, no, never mind. Um, how does that work? Oh, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to figure it out. Oh, maybe you put that, um, maybe you put that inside of it, but uh, made in Germany. Pretty cool. So little leather cases found about five, about five of those. Um, of course, boring stuff, pencils. Um, index things, brand new in the holders, ring binders, um, this stuff, um, office supplies, you know, plastic dividers and all that stuff. Um, 
maybe I can take these back to Walmart if they're Walmart. I don't think so though. I'm not really sure. Okay, so let's go to the cool stuff, guys. So of course this is not going to be inside, but I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, Surface, that is really cool. So I got to take a little peek. Anyway, really cool box, very uh, kind of a sexy packaging. I think they took their cue from Apple here. And um, well, anyway, let me uh, pull it up off real quick. There we go. It says Surface. You open it up. The Surface is right there with a little tablet there. And then I don't think there's anything. No, there's nothing below. Just some product packaging there. Uh, hopefully this might go for about maybe 10 bucks just for the box uh, on eBay. I'm not really sure, but um, this was a 64 gig. So let's get that out of the way. And, okay, now this one right here was in the same, okay, this Surface Office, some Microsoft Surface, all this Office products were in the same one. Let's take a look at this. This caught my eye. I pulled this out, took a quick peek in it, shut it up, and I wanted to open it up with you guys here. Okay, number one, the reason I grabbed it, it has some weight to it. Okay, it's nice and heavy. So I did take a peek, and I was very excited, but I hope it's not going to be an empty box. So let's open it on it. Okay, so right off the bat, that caught my eye right there, and I was like, you got to be joking me. But I did see some software, so that gives me a little string of hope. Okay, so let's go through this real quick. This is, I'm right here with you guys, so I have no idea what's up here. We've got Garmin. Um, let's see here. I told Mr. Sleep about this too. I was like, he's like, you find anything tonight? And I was like, man, I found some stuff, but I'm going to wait till I get home on camera. So um, let's see, HP, Office Jet. Blinking USB switch. Some of these discs go for like five bucks, but not really worth my time though. Oh, Quicken Premier Home and Business 2004. You'd be surprised. I sold a uh, old thing for a lot of money. Um, like 2010. Ooh, Apple Care Protection Plan PC. Uh, I don't think anything. I don't think anything's in there. And I think it'd just be for uh, a Mac or whatever. What do we got here? Um, Street Street Guide Digital Edition. This must be for a GPS. So we got we got Thomas Guide 20, 2004 Street Guide. Uh, that's probably not worth the name. We got um, a Linksys router disc. Linksys router disc. Okay, this is cool. Here we go, guys. So we got a micro SD. Oh, are these just the adapters. Oh man, looks like those are just the adapters. But I'll dig through that. Maybe the uh, one gig is actually in there, but it looks like it's just the adapters. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, BlackBerry. Okay, here's our guide. Oh, here we go. Um, this is probably <laughs> worth like two dollars. <laughs> Um, little access card there. Looks like he just threw away a bunch of uh, older manuals. We got HP DVR, brand new disc in the wrapper. It's probably worth a dollar. Um, XP Home Edition, yeah, old school stuff, guys. Just a bunch of manuals, Logic Tech manuals, Sync Master LCD monitor, uh, Olympus. That's a Big dog right there. What is that? That's for a camera. Um, that's for a memory card slot holder. And then hey guys, here's that ninja sword rack here with my ninja swords on it. I told you my brother got me some sweet ones uh, back when he was in Japan. So here's the long samurai sword here. It goes all the way back there with a the short one on top. How cool is that, man? So it's a three rack, so maybe I'll get like a little dagger and that matches the set, but that's pretty cool though. I definitely, definitely dig that. Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm on a mission right now. My uh, second complex of the evening, my first dumpster, I stop because I see these like, um, I'll try to get them on tape when I go back because I'm going to go back, but I see um, like uh, those gym mats, you know, those like squares that you would like put down on on the ground like the gym mats that kind of interlock i might actually grab those for mr sleep because he um he lifts in his uh his house and he might want those for his garage so i might just shove in my uh my trunk if i get a chance here but so i look in this one can there were boxes on top of it i see this just this shiny 
metallic thing. And it wasn't anything out of the ordinary, um, but uh, what it was, um, was I had to take a box and move the box, and it's an, <laughs> it's an actual safe, like someone either, I mean, most likely just forgot the combination, but it's an actual safe, digital safe in the dumpster, but it's like, it's deep in there, so I'm going to have to, what I do is I have a tactic I do, is I sit on the half wall, I brace myself, and of course I'm wearing a long hoodie, and so I'm going to immediately take it off when I get home and wash it, but, um, so here it is, 1.12 in the morning, I'm about to jump up on the half wall. Well, I'm about to film it first to show you guys, then jump up on the half wall and dig it. I mean, those things are heavy. So it's going to take a little bit of work to get that thing out. So um, I hear a bag rustling, and I know some guy is coming down to throw out trash. I just, I, I know it. I can hear it a mile away. And I just don't want to, like, freak people out. You know what I'm saying? Um <laughs> I've seen, I've seen actually, while I'm dumpster diving, I've seen people inside the dumpster. It's, it's pretty funny, but you know, you don't want to get too crazy. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so, um, I'm going to go back. Um, I'm on my way back right now, actually, but I need to fly by one can, check something out real quick. Anyway, I don't want to make this too long, but, um, I'll show it to you and then I'll get it out. I I'm going to get this thing for sure. I'm going to get it. Guys, I wasn't lying. Look at this thing right here. Look at this. Shiny metallic black is all I saw on top, right? I put this cardboard box back. Bam. Digital safe. I'm going to grab this thing and I'm hoping there's some cash in it. Alright, all right, guys. So check this out real quick here. We'll get back to the safe in a minute, but look at this, guys. My next can's over. We got a, uh, a Sony. This thing, this bad boy is a Sony. Right off the bat, I see that. Right off the bat. Um, and... Uh, just a monster DLP monster. Look at that thing. I'm talking. Look at that. Look at that remote control sitting in the back right there, guys. Come on, come on. This is ridiculous. Look at this thing. S X R D or R P R D or something like that. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited right now. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my, this is just delicious. It's a delicious television. All right, guys. Well, I got the safe. We're looking really good on that. If I'm ever gonna find money, I'm gonna probably find money in that. Uh, of course, safes weigh a lot, and there could be absolutely nothing inside of them, but I haven't messed with the dials or anything like that. It could be just empty safe. If there's any way I can reprogram it without ruining the safe, awesome. That is a great find. If I have to break into it, worst case scenario, Hopefully there's something in there. That would be really cool. If someone's like, well, I got like 50 bucks in there. I forgot the combination. Oh, well, I'm just going to, you know, get rid of it. So I had to lean over, grab it with my fingertips, bring it up, almost slipped. If it would have slipped, it would have like annihilated the sound echoing and I would have been like freaked out, you know. You know, I got it in my trunk. Let me show it to you up close when I get home. But Real quickly, guys, oh my goodness. Did you see that DLP TV? Did you see that DLP TV? That thing was like, ah, that thing was like 65 inches. That thing was humongous. Only problem though, guys, is I'm in my car, I'm not in my wife's car, and it just, the thing is huge. Even though it's a DLP, it's just, it's, it's too big to risk taking it home. To be honest with you, if it, completely was perfect condition I'm only looking at like 150 bucks and it would probably take you a few weeks to sell it and if you have the garage space have the truck space absolutely I was gonna call uh, Mr. Sleep but Mr. Sleep just had a baby boy his wife just got done with labor had a baby boy congratulations Mr. Sleep first little bambino and so he's going to be a little too busy to go run out and go uh, get 65-inch DLPs. I don't know if it was 65 inches. I'm going to go minimum 60. It was a beautiful TV. Remote control. I was almost thinking about just taking the remote control because that's probably 15 bucks alone. But I was like, nah, don't be greedy. Just let the person have it. Whoever comes across that, that has the room in their house or needs a TV, and if it works, they are blessed. That's a beautiful TV. So anyway, I'm going to check back in with you guys. One more complex. 
then I'm going to show you the safe and show you a few other little cool little you know trinkets I found uh, that I'll probably give away. All right, guys, here's a couple of the knickknacks I found tonight here. Um, kind of some little woven, little almost like plate-like tape things like that. Just two of them. So I'm going to uh, probably give those away to uh, my wife's friend uh, or, um, you know, if the wife wants them, but I'll probably just give them away. All right. And then check this out. This was kind of interesting here. Um, um, I wasn't really sure about grabbing it at first, but it's um, a white tiger reversible two-ply blanket queen extra soft and it looks brand spanking new it's literally in the cover still um and uh, i mean one little thing here i'm not sure if that's just because it's pushed off to the side in the plastic but um it uh, it looks like it's in great condition so uh maybe i'll uh i'll take a look at that online see if that's worth anything because that should be brand new um, of course, here's my mailing boxes for all my goodies when I sell them. And, guys, let's go over to the big dog here. This is what we've been waiting for right here. So, here it is, guys. This is it right here. We're looking really good. This is a Century Safe. Um, we're looking at a digital readout with, um, you know, turns off to the side here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, in comparison to my hand here. Um, it's just a normal safe size. Um, I actually already, there's a little barcode there, and then around back it's just all black. But I actually have a safe upstairs already. Um, and just had a curiosity while well, I got you guys on camera. Let's see if this thing even opens up. No. Let's see here. No, it's locked. So I'm going to have to figure out... Um, That'd be cool if it was one, two, three, four. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna have to mess around with this a little bit and see if I can get a default code to it. But uh, I still haven't even shook it. I wonder if there's anything in here. Guys, I'm trying not to get excited and wake up my wife because it's really, really late. But there is something sliding back and forth. <laughs> and there's definitely something in here. It's probably just paperwork or maybe a passport or something like that. But it literally sounds like a wad of cash sliding back and forth. There's little holes on the bottom here um, that you mount the, the screws down so that, you know, if a robber comes in their house, you can't, uh, you know, unlatch it very quickly and walk away with it. But guys, there's something in this safe and I need to, I'm going to do my best because it's in great condition and I really want to reprogram this. And use it for myself um, so my wife can have a safe and I can have a safe. Um, and I call this a go safe because um, you put a Glock 9 in here and then you put passports with some cash and it's called your go safe because if things get hairy, you know, in the States, you know, you just pack up shop, cock your, cock your Glock and grab your passports and be on your way. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I need to get in this thing so bad right now. Um, I'm going to do some research. And worst case scenario, if it's if it's a goner, I'm just gonna uh, just bash it, and um, and get into it and see what's up. But uh, I might not be able to sleep tonight, man. I gotta do some research, guys. All right, guys. So um, I couldn't pick it, unfortunately. Um, I actually have a lock picking kit, um, and I couldn't uh, I couldn't get into it. It was a little tricky. Um, it would have took a little bit more time. I probably could have got it, but hey, it's all right. So anyway. So, um, was trying the default code, did some research on the internet, um, default code didn't work. So what happens is this is a digital code reader and then this snaps up like this, right? So, so watch this. So it's locked right now, but watch this. So I reprogrammed it and then you got to hit that and then it opens up. So I was able to, so if you forget your digital code, then there's this key slot where you put the key in, you open it up. Well, anyway, so I just drilled it um, with a couple drill bits, finally was able to bust through the lock. And then I was able just to just open it up and then reprogram it here. So I have a safe. Now, the only bad part is that there was stuff in here, and I'm not going to go into details because um, uh, I'm just going to say that I was correct and there were passports and some other vital documents no money, unfortunately, guys. I was a little bit bummed about that, but 
there were a lot of credit cards and stuff like that. So of course I'm not going to show you that to you. It's right here in this manila envelope. But uh, several passports and all sorts of stuff. So I'm just going to turn it into the police or drop it in a mailbox and uh, they'll turn it into the police for me. But no money guys, but we have a beautiful like $80, $90 safe um, digital uh, code reader and it totally works fine. So I have a cap I'm going to put back over this to cover that up and the safe is legit. I just, you know, uh, can't forget my code. And even if I do forget my code, <laughs> I can just open it up anyway. But it's kind of cool, though. Once you uh, know your code, you put it back in. Anyway, guys, beautiful safe. Stoked on it. Wish there was cash. But, hey, that's the name of the game. All righty, guys. I hope you enjoyed Episode 8. It was fantastic. It was. And so I am really, really excited. I'm trying to hit my goal this month. Keep me up to date. Keep me accountable on dumpsterdivinghq.com dumpsterdivinghq.com go under the income reports under the tabs right there at the website look at what I'm making per month on my dumpster diving finds now again guys I'm finding a grip of stuff it just takes a little bit of time to pop it on Amazon pop it on eBay sometimes I procrastinate I'm trying to hit my goal of $1,000 I'm coming close a few months, but again, keep me accountable. Let me know. I'll be like, Chris, come on now. Come on now. You need to sell some more stuff. So this month, we're looking good. Stay in tune. Watch those episodes. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to sell some electronics, trying to make some moves. So anyway, guys, keep me accountable. Go to dumpsterdivinghq.com, and I will see you in the next episode. That episode would be... So the next one is number nine. Stay tuned. And guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Tell your dumpster diving friends about the show. Show some love to Jay Horta and Mr. Sleep. And hopefully they will be back on the show soon. <laughs> it's been a while. They've been slipping their lives away. I've seen them. But also, guys, if you haven't noticed, in my videos coming up, Nah, I don't think this one or maybe the next one. I picked myself up a trash reacher picker upper. Look in the description box below. This thing is worth its weight in gold. It's keeping me from getting filthy dirty, giving me an extra reach. I love it. Yo, if you're sick and tired of paying too much for stuff, just look in that dumpster and you might come up. Yo, come ups, come ups. I come ups a big, come ups a small. People throwing away mad stuff all day long. But then you can sell it for cash and gold because all of us need a come up these days. Come up, come up, come up.